Hello and welcome to a quick tutorial for Turbo Builder 2020. Turbo Builder allows you to build for multiple platforms with ease. After you installed it, you can find it under Window Turbo Builder Pro. Let's put it over here. So, as you can see, per default, there are some uh, platforms already available, the ones you have installed. I did some configurations before. Let's head over to the tabs. Let's start with the config tab. As you can see, you can choose your own custom build path. If you are not satisfied with the default, then you can, um, for example, set your version control that you're using. You can also add the name and the version to your build path. The version is normally the thing that you find here in the player settings. So the name is the name of your app or a game and the version is also the version from the player settings. <clears throat> so you can distinguish between multiple builds. You can also add the date and time to the path and set your own um, settings or pattern how you want it. Then let's get to the build settings. You can enable auto save scenes that will save every uh, open scene. For example, if I do a change here and then afterwards we'll create the build and it will save this open scene. Then I can add also some uh, methods that are static methods that can be called before a build or after a build or after all builds. This is, can be done like that. For example, in the builder class, <coughs> there you have some examples where we have this static method before build, for example, that just prints out a debug log, but this will be called before a build start. Yeah, and then um, you also have, because you don't have to use the static method approach, you can also use um, events. Let's show that here. With the event tester, you see, for example, we have four different events for build start, for build complete, or if you click on all builds at once, then you get the event when they are started or when they were completed. Then you can also uh, click for show build player that will open the folder that the player is built in and some other settings. Basically it <coughs> it uses the same settings that you have when you go to the player settings so it uses the scenes in build that you have added here and it also uses the settings per um, platform so we don't um, distinguish those or, or have a separate page in our tool to make it easier because that normally causes some trouble if we don't uh, exactly replicate the things that you can set in the Unity player preferences. So we decided you do the settings and the player prefs per platform yeah, and you can distinguish the scenes per build and so on, as we can see later on in in uh, some scripting examples. However, um, furthermore, here are the active platforms. These are the platforms you can uh, see here in the build um, tab. So, for example, if I want to have also WebGL but no Linux, then I can set that like that. And as you can see, it updates the UI here. Then <coughs> you have also some settings like confirmation of builds, or you can see the details in the UI. As we can see right now, we have no builds. So let's change that. Let's create the build for Windows. So if I just want to create the build for Windows, I click here on this button. It asks me if I want to start the build. So, and this will take a few seconds because it's just this empty scene test. So it is, consists only of a few 
cubes and spheres, so it won't take long. But as you can see, I enabled show build player, so I see the build here. As you can see, this is the name of of the the project, and this is the version, and this is what it <coughs> what the platform is, Win64. And here is the build. So that's all. As I can see now, it updated the build usage. I can also click on show builds to see all the builds here. Then furthermore we have uh, a help um, tab. And when you click on manual you see the manual as you expected or for the API if you want to use it with uh, scripting you see all the available classes and also the forum thread where you get some help and this tutorial, other videos of our, our company and in the about you get all the information like the email if you need some help or you see the asset store page and so on or here down below the readme that explains also everything in short sentences, the versions and an update tab where you can click for updates to see if there is a new version. So that's basically all. I just want to show you a quick example here in the example integration. We have um, this TPP menu and here you see we have this is basically this menu build Windows, Android and build all and uh, here you see you just call builder build with target and you can add some things like for example the path as you can see you could add a path your own path or and you also could add your own name that could be should be a real thing not, not like that what I'm showing but you can also add the scenes that you want to use for a specific build, like my build, my scene one, and then you just can add the other scenes, my scene three, for example, by skipping my scene two or whatever, and <coughs> you can configure it as you like. So it's very easy to expand it for your needs. So that's basically all. So thank you very much for watching and have a good time. Bye.